mean, the vibes are right. We're here in LA, um, getting ready for the season, really. I'm glad that we were able to get, you know, this small group of us, even though there's more of the family that's not here today, kind of going, but what do you guys think? When it comes to free agency, you know, especially like with this new CBA, we kind of talked a lot about freedom, resources, benefits, movement. And I think like since we signed the last CBA, we've seen a lot of change, you know? So I don't know how like you guys feel about what it means for you, what it means for LA, you in LA, what it means for the W. Like, I don't know what you guys think. I think it's, I think it's amazing to see so much breaking news and that having to do with the WNBA. So I'm, I'm excited. It's fun to kind of like look and see after like negotiating the CBA, the action and the activity, you know, f that comes from that. And I just love that we have autonomy over our careers. So it's my first free agency. Yay! <laughs> A little overshadowed by other people. No, <laughs> you had just moments a little. I had my five minutes of fame. There you go. And then still we came. But um, no, it was fun. But it, it was interesting to see like who was choosing to like go build a super team. Who mm -hmm. wanted to get back? Who wanted to be comfortable? Like. It was just, it was really nice to see people really being able to be free to make literally whatever decision that they wanted that would benefit them. Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, there's some, there's some new faces and new places. What? <laughs> I know my, my favorite part of free agency was when I got the group text from KB uh, saying that Jasmine Thomas was going to just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was so excited because, and then also like it just felt full circle because now we have Kurt and we are the Kurt specialist here. <laughs> and that was like, it, it literally, it became real in a way that felt so good deep down in my soul because I was like, these are my people. So we're happy to have you. Thank you. Oh, I am Jess. so happy to be in LA. I just feel like it's an energy. It's a vibe that you can just like feel. Even before I got out here, I was like, this is refreshing. This is new. There's something that can really happen here and be really special. And you can feel that everybody is on board for that. And you don't have that everywhere. So right. I am like so excited to be here. So like, when you landed, was there like a moment where you were like, oh snap, this feels so the air is crisper. <laughs> it was a little colder than I was expecting. To be, so the air was definitely crisp. But um, yeah, I just think from the time that the trade happened, I was just like overwhelmed a little bit because, you know, I did spend eight seasons in Connecticut. Right. I was there for a long time. So there's a little bit of that process and like, whoa, I'm moving like all the way across the country. But then after having the conversations, hearing like what the vision is for everyone individually as an organization on the court, off the court, you want to be part of something like that. You want to have like a, a say in a, an actual role in where the organization goes to. And right. that is what's special. I think that is something that you just want to be a part of. For sure. I'm glad that you see that. I mean, Cheney knows I've been here for a long time. You guys all know I've been here for a long time. And like, I have like my own individual goals and of course team goals, which I feel like almost every year kind of coincide. So like for someone like you, who's a vet in this league, well-respected, um, and you're talking about like vision and like you felt that, do you have any individual goals as you like join this new family, especially like coming off of the year where you're like, okay, let me come back better than ever. Yeah, for sure. Being healthy, being back on the court, right. um, you know, being better than before, but it's more so just everywhere I've been, I've been able to be successful in my own way. And right. it's like not doing it the way someone else wants and staying true to myself, my role and who I want to be and what I want to accomplish. And I feel like that's what I want to continue doing. It's not something where you know i just want to come here and like blend in i want to be myself and be able to you know affect the culture make everybody else better make everybody else comfortable i want everyone to enjoy coming to work you know like that is something that you know in the professional game it doesn't always happen you right. know so to be able to enjoy what you do it's just a, something that i think i can help happen. we know you can help Jeff. yeah <laughs> i'm excited yeah I don't know, like as a team, I feel like every year, every team wants to win, you know? Right. We would, it would be crazy if no one had that type of goal, but Shanae, you have like, you have so many things that you do. And I was even just telling Jazz, I was like, sometimes I look at you, I'm like, I can't believe that's my little sister. Oh, like, it's kind of wild. <laughs> well, when I say I'm hungry, how many you remember? <laughs> I mean, we all know, you know, you are a force when it comes to being, you know, in media and in the corporate and the business world and on television. 
But I think something that people don't like really understand about you is like how competitive you are on the court. Do, do you feel like your goals off the court as an individual on the court and like team goals, like where, do, where does, where, what does that look like for you? Yeah, I think for me, it's been a unique journey. You've been with me like every step of the way. But, you know, I had a lot of early success coming into the league and it was great, but then I also had a lot of early adversity. And then like, as you grow and mature through the uh, process of that, and then also, you know, leave Connecticut and come to LA, there were a lot of dynamics that I didn't really understand um, that it just took some time to get used to. I know Lexi going on different teams and having different roles, it's not so easy, you know? And I think uh, a, a big misconception that I often experience is because my other job is quite public. People think that I don't care about the job that provided the platform for me. We know you do. But I know, I know, I know yeah, but I think there's a big, yeah. there's a big there's, misconception yeah. showing there. showing up as often as you do. I go do what they see once a week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> Like, I don't want to go to the gym right now, but I go, but, like, you do it. All my girls are in the broadcaster yeah. world. I love it. I love it. I love it. Like, you could if you wanted to. <laughs> that, like, but to me, like, you know, that grind was different in Connecticut. Um, and then when you get to L.A. here, it feels like this is finally home, you right. know, and I have the stability. And I think just, like, my individual goals, one thing that has really stuck with me, actually, I learned from... Kendrick Perkins working on set. Oh, he, I know, right? He's not gonna live <laughs> That's this. big bro. He's not gonna live this day. <laughs> he always talks about being a star in your role. Uh -huh. And I think that, you know, no matter what position you're put in, there's something to losing yourself in the team. But you don't wanna get lost. And I think at times as a professional, you feel lost. But then finally, it feels like this new day and age with the Sparks, I'm found, right? right. Like it's, and this free agency is a fresh start. You know, a start that we needed, a start where everything is done with the foundation of great people, great competitors. And I think there's optimism. So I guess my goal is to be a star in whatever role is necessary for us to be successful um, in adapting to, to that. But I'm like, the universe is finally coming back yeah. to where it feels it good. Feels it really does feel good. Feel good. <laughs> Remember last year we were like, just vibes. It's just <laughs> the word is vibes. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> like last week was like, oh, just, you know, we just—it's uh, <laughs> a new day. It's a new day. But like Lex, you were always so adamant about like, you know, what are our team goals, you know? And I think also, like you said, I remember early in training camp last year, you're like, man, like we just have a locker room of like people that just want to like each other, yeah. you know? And I feel like we've built on that, especially like with the group that we have now. Do you think our team goals have like changed? Because you were such a proponent of like understanding what our team goals were, you know? No, I don't think they've changed. And I, even in media yesterday, they were like, are you guys rebuilding? And I was like, no. We I don't use win. that word. You want to win. Yeah. Like, you use the term <laughs> rebuild. Like, you're setting the like, platform so low for yourself and for right. your team. But I think there's so much hype around other teams in the league. I mean, I don't, I've always loved flying under the radar. It's kind of hard to fly under the radar as like an LA Spark. But we're kind of going to be able to do that this right. year. I think it's going to be fun. Um, individually, I just want to be the best shooter. Mm -hmm. like, that's really my only goal, whatever that looks like. If that's making one or two threes a game and my percentage is super high, great. If I get to take like seven, eight threes a game and my percentage what is high, I'm like, even if you're cool, cool. just I'll keep shooting. Yes. Shoot it. Keep shooting. Yes. Yes. So I was like, they're not going in. We're like, like, girl, we need, need you to shoot that. Hey, man. We need you to they're shoot They're going to guard you regardless. regardless. Yeah. We got a lot of shooters. I'm very excited. Down to Chidek. 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 Someone told me Gigi something wild. <laughs> Someone's like, did you, I don't know the numbers, but like, I think my three was like the highest percentage last year. I was like, that has to be a lie. How many did you take? Girl, I shot one every other, like one every <laughs> blue. That one, that one went in. That one was going in. It's going in. But I'm trying to that though. What about you now? What are your goals? I mean, I know your goals actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I talk about my goal is to Chine like every day. I know but, one word for NECA. It's legacy. Yeah, what does legacy. legacy mean? Legacy for me, I always tell people I want to have a legacy of contagion. Like I want I want to be great and I want others to be great because of me. I want to be great because of others. I just want it to feel contagious. And that's that's always been kind of like my goal. But more, most importantly, it's the relationship. It's the relationship aspect of it. Like I love playing with good people and, you know, you know, throughout this whole free agency, like Kurt has been talking a lot about how real success starts in the locker room. And I think it's been very apparent with like how our free agency has gone, that that's really what's most important. Understanding that these bonds that we have, 
um, getting to know each other, understanding each other's goals, each other's strengths, what we want to work on, and kind of that coinciding in like the sa- the sanctity of the locker room, both figuratively and literally. And I think that really contributes to like how I want to be as a person, as a player, um, as a woman in this world. And so, you know, Chanae's heard me talk about this all, all the time, but that's just kind of like, <laughs> that's what I want. And I really, I really do feel though, like when you are true to that, when you're true to what your values are, things will align. Like, just like you said, like the universe is finally like, all right, y'all. Let me bless y'all. You're like, you one of the last ones that like are with one team. Yeah, yeah. loyal to the soil. Loyal to the soil. Loyal. That's just kind of my characteristic. But I also, I think it like really, it really shows how how much I really believe in this organization. And this organization has been so good to me. Um, it's been so good to so many teammates that I've had. Um, just because they're not all here doesn't mean that they're not going to be a part of my life like moving forward. I've had some amazing times on this team. I've had some challenging times that I feel like have created the person that I am today. And it's because of teammates like you guys, you know, like I I would say you can't do it by yourself. True. You cannot do it by yourself. Like you really can't. One thing that I do love is, you know, like everyone knows it's LA. And so for a long time in LA it was like if you know they hate us if you ain't if they ain't us, you know? And I'm not trying to say that that's what it is now, but there's this weight. There's this expectation expectation there's this cloud with wearing purple and gold like there's just there's something that comes with it you yeah so like how do do you guys like it like do you wearing the purple and gold it's like historical there's so much richness in this city like how does it make you guys feel well it made me feel like that (laughs) you a hollywood girl hollywood literally literally. i mean i feel like when people come to la you i mean that was one of the things that we talked about last year like some people came for the wrong reason they come to live Right, you come to play. Right. So for yeah. me, like basketball is always gonna be big. Right. Never gonna have to worry about me like worrying about other things. Not if you're involved in other things, that's one thing. But at the end of the day, it's about that like sparks and winning championships and shit. So you guys do I feel like but, you're a great representation of what it means to like create a career and kind of fortify yourself as someone who like makes the most of your opportunities while still balancing so many aspects of like what you do. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not easy, but it is so worth it. And I think everyone has passions. I mean, you're literally president. We've got broadcasters here. So many um, different stories. I think when you're in LA, you have that platform, right. additional platform. And honestly, it really is like, I, our games are the most lit. They're so in the fun. W. Maybe you just got DJ. DJ Molsky. We have DJ Molsky. We have a loyal fan base. Um, and then we also know that no matter who's out there, we're out to compete because we have that history that we have to always live up to, right? And continue. And for me personally, I just feel like we're at the intersection of so much right now. Like what we're talking about with free agency players having empowerment and like being able to dictate their own course like yes that's on the court but then it's also off the court and here you have the full potential to to really pursue anything that you want you know and that's one thing that i've always told people like we're gonna give our all because like practice is four five six hours a day but outside of that there are real meaningful relationships that we're very great you know fortunate to have right here in the city i mean like even now i'm just like can i can I do this backwards? Like, <laughs> this is what we used to watch on CSI. Yeah. <laughs> Law and Order. <laughs> I feel like, Jazz, you're going to just be a big butter. Yeah, I was oh gonna, my like, gosh. I was like, you really excited. Like, first of all, yeah. first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, once you got here, she's like, oh girl, I got, don't worry, you don't have to drop me off. Like, I'm, 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 I'm here. <laughs> she's like, I got people, my best friend. So I didn't even realize I had people here until uh-huh. like the news broke and then everyone is hitting me up like, out here too like welcome to the coast i'm like there's actually people out here that i can connect with and there's so many people i'm looking forward to meeting and connecting with but i feel like you hit it on the head like where we are with women's basketball we're finally at a place where people are picking destinations for a total view it's right. not just about on the court well yes that's the priority you want to win you want to be successful you want to chase your dreams your goals you also know that you could be an injury away or a pregnancy away or something away from not being able to return to the court at the level that you want to so it's like what else are you going to do right and how are you going to you know build your brand market yourself chase these other opportunities that are also equally important to you and i think it's like it's no longer that stigma of like you can't do everything you can do absolutely everything that you want to and 
that's what makes us incredible. So I feel like coming to LA was a huge part of that. It's right. like, I've been cooped up in Connecticut. Like that's just, that's true. So I'm just like, there's so many opportunities here. And while it starts on the court, you know, you want to have that balance. And I feel like you're, you're someone who is a great example of like understanding like your niche and your brand and like maximizing that to still be who you are off the court because I mean I fo I follow a lot of your accounts because you, you, she's a foodie hair, hair business health. Yeah. yeah like health and beauty and like I'm excited to see the opportunities that are waiting for you here because I mean there's no question about it like we're all I personally believe we're all people that know how to balance a lot of it so like not minimizing yourself and still taking advantage of those opportunities, I think it's something that's really important. I look forward to seeing how that works out. Thank you. I'm trying to learn from Sexy Lexi over here. Hey! Sexy Lexi! Sexy Lexi! That's it, y'all. That's the thing. It's coming. It's coming. Okay, so since we're like clearly like in this groove of LA, I kind of want to lighten it up a little bit. So when it comes to LA, everyone knows that there's a lot of opportunity, but there's also a lot of food. Mm -hmm. Do you have any spots that you look forward to? Do you have any go-to spots? Do you have any spots that you love to DoorDash? <laughs> yeah. DoorDash? Oh my God. DoorDash? Do you I owe you any... codes, don't I? Yes. I she said I owe you codes. So Chine, <laughs> last year Chine used to incentivize us to win. <laughs> Well, give you so a like, She was like, the first person who makes, first of all, yes. she said, the first person who makes a three, I give him a hundred dollars. <laughs> and then she was like, if we win, everybody gets DoorDash codes. <laughs> forgot, she started running out of codes. And then she started, never got any codes. she started forget, forgetting to give people codes. But yeah, we were trying to get these wins. <laughs> we break like, off my delivery fees. <laughs> I got you, right? <laughs> That's it, hey, the delivery fee. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to say, this is like a, a very guilty pleasure, a very, a very oh, LA place, a very LA place that people love to go. But people, wait, whoa, 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 wait. You say people, isn't it yourself? No, no, people love to go there. Yes, but people you can say you like to go. No, I'm, I'm saying, I'm, I'm okay. saying it right now. People love to go, I love to go. There you go. <laughs> and it's not, it's like a, I would say it's a splurge place. It's not Nobu. economical. Uh, oh. No, not Nobu. Okay. But oh, the wait list for Nobu Malibu was like months Super. long. Okay. But Erewhon is where I, I frequent a lot. I do not grocery shop there. I have to put that as a disclaimer. The groceries are quite expensive. exorbitantly expensive. But Erewhon is for rich people. The hot food section <laughs> no, is wealthy people. <laughs> the, <laughs> food, the hot food section is it. The hot food section is it. So I'm gonna have to just plug that real quick. It is, yeah, it's a good lunch spot. It is a good, lunch, a good lunch spot. Lunch yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's a, okay, I can take you. They're on on Nekos. They make tacos. Are they good? Yeah. Are they healthy? Yeah, no, so that's the thing. Like, it, it's a very healthy place. Okay. It's a very None healthy place. But you I like tacos? tacos. <laughs> I like tacos. With my tacos. Oh, oh, so your tacos are like, your favorite tacos are your tacos. Oh, that I make? Yeah. Absolutely not. Oh, okay. You just yeah. mean that Any taco truck that I see, I try. I love oh, tacos. Oh, wow. Yeah. Why? Because I love tacos. To the tacos. When did you discover this? That I love tacos? When I got here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> little uh, video tacos that you dip in the... Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so, Smorgasburg. I keep telling everyone we need to go there. They have a place called the Goat Mafia, and they have really good burrito tacos. Yes. They make them in place via farm, burrito farm. Oh, you just try all types of tacos. Tacos 86, Tacos 1986, which your coworkers yes. talking about, is good too. Chumadre, Sonorita. Okay, so you got a list. Get into your, get into your. Get so into your I'm stuff. going cultural. Oh, because I know where you're I going. feel like African culture has arrived here firmly in Los Angeles, and so I hope one day we should make the whole team uh, go to Aduque Cuisine. Make, yeah, encourage. Oh, we should have. <laughs> Damn. No, I'm like, I'm I, say, I say, I say, we make. I'm like, you make. <laughs> So you that. guys have seen those TikTok videos of people going and eating the egusi yes. soup? Yep. I'm yeah, with the it. fubu. We should do that. Yeah, yeah no, we that should. That summer. was from Aduke. That, that was Aduke. Yeah, yeah, Lori Harvey yeah, did. Yeah. So I think Aduke cuisine is my recommendation. That's Nigerian good food. They have a lot of good Nigerian food out okay. here. And they've they rebranded. And worst case, Naka can make, and we can all come over this year. Because this year is the year. This year, right? We're going to go to Naka's house. Yes, everyone's going to come. <laughs> relax, relax. What, are they, what is that for? Uh, Naka's house is for Fort Knox. Is it Fort Knox? Is it Fort Knox? <laughs> Well, it like, it, like it, I actually go to home to a place, so it exists, but you know, we're gonna have people there. Party in Nickers! Ooh, la. Woo! That ain't happening. Okay, so, DJ Malski, we know he keeps us right. 
Does anyone have any songs or music that they are currently listening to that we want to see reflected when we warm up, reflected when we play? Or do you have any main character theme song that you're listening to right now? Mm. I love SZA, but she's okay. not going. SZA in the middle of the game. She might not be the game vibes. <laughs> post game. Post, post game vibes. Yeah, post game. Okay, post yeah. Post game vibes. Yeah, yeah. SZA in the locker I mean, I like Drake. Drake. 20, yeah, anything Drake. I like his influence. Okay. It's Maybe like, we can uh, get some of these people to. Oh, you it. like that one? Love okay, it. okay. I, 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 it's a little controversial. I <laughs> well, we know she got the Afro beats. The Drake in Twenty One? No, the no, the uh, techno uh, album. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, I'm, we're from Houston and we stand Megan. So, ooh, but you said ooh, ooh, but the vibe is right when it comes to sports music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I mean, Megan, Megan, we support her. It's a black woman right there. Thank you. Absolutely. Um, but. When it comes to like music, I I feel like we LA has it on lock when it comes to us playing. I mean, everyone talks about how fun the games are. Yes. So we're just gonna have to get ourselves a little playlist. We don't have to get DJ Mosk in order, but the vibes are always right. Um, and we wouldn't be who we are in LA if it wasn't about Hollywood Showtime. But we also know what it means to bring business to the court. And so I'm just really excited to see. See what this is. It's, it's fun already, and we haven't even really. And we make we TikToks. Really... I'm uh, here for the TikTok. Okay. I have officially entered. How they don't have to do They don't have to do TikToks. Okay, yeah, no, no. So, like, I've been triggered with the TikTok. Yeah. We yeah. didn't have boundaries before. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe no TikTok game day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but so I'm no exposed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, I mean, like, okay, there's like general rules of, like, okay, not in the locker room. Not so after like the game. to like yeah okay, like yeah. yeah generally speaking like well also locker room is like kind of shaky because like that's where we get undressed so, uh, yeah. so like <laughs> that's the only <laughs> thing but like if everyone is if it's like you know everyone's cool then it's fine but I think like game day situation you know I think we've all understand airports airports, airports are perfect I love. yeah perfect They're perfect but okay I I'll agree to do some TikToks <laughs> okay you got to put them in the group chat so we can practice for a little very bit. true that is <laughs> mandatory okay. rehearse rehearse yes. I want to learn the touch it one the division the one that just came out the one that you said you knew no oh. do it Lex go come on sexy leg sexy leg sexy leg that's exactly like do one you you know can you have one you can do a lot of them this one. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, she got oh, it. She got oh, it. She got it. She got it. She got it. She's acting shy. Oh, well, it's all love in LA. I'm glad to have the sisterhood. I'm excited. Ma. Girlfriend. Girlfriend. <laughs> this is the <laughs> set of girlfriends. No, so when we were, when we were